neighbor. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. It is only the listeners that get something when the main stage is going on. Only the listeners. Those who don't listen don't get. Because it is the word of God you listen to and receive it. Put it in your heart that produces results. When you come to the presence of God or we have the word of God in preach and you are distracted, you will get nothing. So, wherever you are listening from, whether YouTube, for those of you in social media listening right now, in the WhatsApp, in the Tuba, or anywhere we are described, wherever you are watching from, in our social media, the same amount of money right in this altar will be true. Amen. The Lord will deliver you where you need to deliver this money. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning I want to talk on an important topic. Vital keys for actualizing your dreams. Everybody steady. Vital keys for actualizing your dreams. Again. Vital keys for actualizing your dream. We know what keys are, right? Yes. Key is what gives you access into your room, into your office. Without the keys, you can never enter. No matter how powerful a man is, when he don't have the key, he will struggle. We all have dreams, but we need the keys. When the keys are there, you are in charge. And the Lord told Peter, upon this rock, the rock he was talking about is not Peter. Peter is not the rock. Jesus is the rock. So the revelation that Peter had, he started by asking them, who do men think I am? Some say John the Baptist. Some say this, some say that, some say this. And Jesus came back to them. He said, You, who do you think I am? And Peter said, You are the Christ, you are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, Human being, flesh and blood did not tell you this. It's not human being that told you this, but my father. Upon this revelation, upon this revelation, because it was a revelation given to Peter. A lot of people are saying that Peter is the one. And he said, no, it is the revelation that Peter had. He said, upon this revelation, because my father revealed it to you, and upon the revelation, I will be my church. And the gate of hell cannot prevent. That is why we are once stronger. And no power can stop us. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, no, the church is not this building. The church is you. Corinthians 3, verse 9 to 10. I want to 
want you to be here quickly. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9 to 10. If you just said, I am here, let's read what to go. So we are laborers together with God. Here are God's bus family. Here are God's beauty. Number 10. According to the grace of God, which is given up to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another man builds the other. We are called the brother. We are God's husband. Are you seeing it? We are called laborers. We are God's building. So what we are learning today is how to reach sustain this building. Because the Holy Spirit is dwelling in us. How can we sustain it so that the Holy Spirit will keep living? So that we keep hearing from God. So that we keep sustaining it. Because that is what our life is made up of. We are house in the Holy Spirit. Let every man take him. Let every man be careful for how he do. Let be careful. Some of us are not building on the foundation. Some of us are forming our own foundation. So let be careful on the material we are using to build. Let us ensure that we are using a standard and not some standard material. Because a house that must stand must be built of standard materials. Let every man take him. How he built it. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. By much softness, the building the gate. And through idleness of hands, the house dropped through. I take it again. By much swiftness, the building decayed, and through idleness of man, the house dropped through. You see, by spiritual laziness, that's what they're talking about here, the house dropped. Not because there is no God, but because of our spiritual laziness. Many Christians of this generation are spiritually lazy. And that is why our spiritual life is very empty. We all have Homes in our villages. Is it not true? Yes. What happened to our houses in the village that we have left for many years? It stopped the game, right? Why? You don't know that cobwebs and time out and other things in the house makes us to fall. But if somebody is living in that house, you begin to remove them. Is it not true? By taking good care of them, a house that nobody is living inside will always decay and collapse. But a house that somebody is living inside will not go because the sustainability is there. All those human activities are what sustain the building. Church, am I talking? You are those building. And without knowing the spiritual functions and how to engage them, you begin to decay and drop food. You are God's building. If you don't know how to sustain this your building, this your life, this your body, it begins to decay. And there are so many degenerations, spiritual decay in our society today because a lot of people don't know this. And this message is for us to follow. This message is for the believers, not for the unbelievers. Because unbeliever is, 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 is out of it. And that is why before I conclude this message, if you are not born again here, you must give your life to Jesus Christ. Church, am I talking? You are a spiritual being. And if you are not spiritually engaged, you are bound to teach and grace. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19. I read. What? No, you are not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not of your own. Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? The temple. Look at the name of the temple. You are body in the temple of the Holy Spirit. I want you to tap your neighbor. Tap your neighbor. Tap whosoever that is supposed to tap him or her. Tap him or 
you have given your life to Jesus, heaven has declared you from righteous. You are not righteous because pastor says so. You are righteous because the Bible says so. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, and whatsoever the word of God says is fine. Is what? Fine. Not because of what you feel. Not because of what your neighbors are talking about you. Not because of what your church members are talking. It is what the word of God is talking that what you are saying now. And now what is holiness? The Bible says, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Holiness demands you to walk. To do what? Walk. Praise the Lord. Reading the Bible, understanding what the Bible says and applying them. So holiness requires work. Righteousness does not require any work. It's to just to believe. Now the righteousness we are having is the power of the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. He died on the cross and put us with a special mind. So we are righteous when we come to you, Jesus. But the holiness we must walk in the world and our daily activities, daily applications of the word of God is the holiness, the sustainability, and that is what we are studying today. So for us to fulfill the house again, we must work and find out what it takes to work. We need to work to recover our to recover or to sustain the glory, especially those who have lost it. Have you lost it out? You can regain it now. Hello? Hi. Say I can regain it now. I can regain it. Because I am taking time because I to find out what it takes. Can somebody shout a little bit? Amen. So I am going to talk about four things you will do. Four keys. How many keys? Four keys. I'm giving you four keys that you will apply to sustain and in case you are causing to recover praise it as a whole number one and in clear after holiness is the foundation of every spiritual being that must stand we must increase after holiness we must increase after what? holiness without holiness forget about it the churches of this generation have put holiness aside we are not looking it out every day. Paul said, I die every day. I die every day. Why did Paul say, I die every day? Because every day, Paul keeps finding out what it takes to stand. And whenever he finds out that he's not doing it well, the word of God that is like a mirror will correct him. That says, I die every day. Praise the Lord. Second Timothy chapter 9, verse 19 to 21. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 to 21. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 19 to 21. Verse 19 said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this year, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that never the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Is it like that in your Bible? Hello? Hello? Uh, Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. Is it like that in your Bible? Yes. Okay, let me read it again. Let me read it again. Okay, I'll read it again. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19 to 21. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. How this seal, the Lord never them that are his, and let everyone that never the name of God depart from what? Iniquity. God knows those that are his. God knows the true pastor. God knows the true member. God understands you more than you understand yourself. He knows us. And if I know that God knows me, then I will depart from iniquity. Praise the Lord. And then he said, Where will I have that the Lord will not find me? Where will I have that the Lord is not there? Even if I go under him, he's there. I climb mountain, he's there. I enter fire, he's there. Because God sees us. Church, am I talking? Yes, Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor. The Lord knows you. Come on, touch the heart. Say neighbor. The Lord knows you. Therefore, are you walking out your righteousness? One of the keys is to depart from iniquity. Depart from evil. Some of us are too wicked. When you are a Christian and you are practicing wickedness, you are not. You will go to heaven. See, see, it's not just to hide under umbrella of any church. 
When they talk about Jesus, you talk past everybody. But in your heart, you are know, going to No wicked man will go to heaven. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if you like, ask the bishop, ask the archbishop, ask the angel, and become the next to God, you are only answering it. You are not there. It takes holiness to enter the kingdom. Holiness and sanctification. A total departure from iniquity is the key to sustaining your purity. 20. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth. And some are home and some are of this home. In a great house, in your various houses, there are plates and there are plates. Is it not true? Yes. There is a plate that you use for August visitor. And there is a plate that you use for anyhow visitor. So what is what is the reason for having such kind of place? The plate you have for August visitor is the value of that plate. Is it not true? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you have August visitor and use a rubber plate? No. You use golden plate. Yes. It's not the amount you buy it all. Okay, in the quality of the plate. Sometimes somebody may dash you. But when you discover that that plate is useful, that cup is useful, you preserve it and use it for special occasion. Therefore, if we also make ourselves available, God will to use us for special occasion. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. God did not create anybody in this world and say, This one you are my own, this one you are not my own. It is only how we walk, how we walk, how we take the things of God, how we commit ourselves to it. That's all. God don't have any, but we are the ones making ourselves any by disobeying his instructions. When we disobey God's instructions, we are not his student. But he said, If you are not, we give my and the commandments are not previous. The commandments of God is for your own benefit. Say, I hear. I hear. Church, are you learning something? Yes, sir. Number 21. He said, If a man therefore put himself from all this, who shall be a vessel unto him, satisfied and made for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work? We are talking about spiritual purging. In those days, if you are suffering from malaria, they will give you purge medicine, right? So that you purge out every toxin in your body. Now, there are spiritual toxins that we need to purge. May the Lord purge you. Amen. May God be spiritual cleansing in your life this hour. Amen. But you must increase to it. God will not force you to purge you. Hello? Hi. Are you that one saying? Hello? The body process is ever ready, but you must increase in it. You must engage yourself in those things that will necessitate the body. When Jesus rose from the dead, he said, Sin shall no longer have the wind over you. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, when I'm under, some of you do session this all you know, remember we are the fishes in the river, just that the fishes cannot deny sin. That is not true. That statement is for one believer. When Jesus died, Jesus demoralized, paralyzed Satan, and rendered the activities of Satan in your life useless. Okay? When you commit sin, it is you that want to commit sin. Because sin is not have no power over you. Praise the Lord. The man of sin has been wrong. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. There are most of you, there are many of you, that even if you are not a Christian, you can never be a prostitute. Two of us. By training, by training, by your culture, nobody can force you into prostitution. By your training, by your culture, nobody can force you into armor because you have trained yourself. That is how sin is. If you want to stop sin, you must take decision. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must say no to sin. Because sin is a part of power to give you sin. And that is why when Jesus will come, he will not jump, he will not say them. He will not punish them. He will punish you. Because he has given you the power to overcome sin. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. In the book of Romans chapter 6, verse 14, he says, Sin shall not have dominion over you. For yet I am not under the law, but under grace. Sin shall have no dominion over you. You are no more under the 
for one of the Emmanuel grace. In the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 3. 1 John 3, 3. 1 John 3, 3. Open your Bibles to 1 John chapter 3, verse 3. Let us read together. 1, 2, go. Whosoever have this hope in him, purifies himself even as he is in God. If you have this hope, this hope of God, this hope of heaven, you must purify your self. You must do what? Purify your self. I am made of my mind. To serve the Lord. I am made of my mind. I am made of my mind. To serve the Lord. To serve the Lord. I am made of my mind. Listen to me, it's not every message that gives you up. It is a message 
from God that reach you. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor, wake up. Yeah. Sorry that you receive those messages. Yeah. If you are receiving the shout, they pick your name. Yes, you are really receiving it. Remember those who do know their God shall be strong and they shall do as well. Those who know their God. So if you are a member of this church, you are not doing exploits. Go back and check your life. Because exploits is your redemptive right. Say again. Amen. You are born again to light up your world. You are born again to cause dramatic change to your world. You are born again to become a star. You are not born again to be a dying man. Yes. You are not born again to become a dying Christian. Church, are you hearing me? Yes. Say never. Never. Are you really doing the right thing? I really the right thing. If Jesus come now, will you really go to heaven? Really I forbid to be a pastor of a church. Where Jesus will come is only two or three persons that will go to heaven. God, I want to run a church. We are trumpet will stand. All of us will go to heaven. No, not even one person will be in heaven. That is the church I want to run. Praise the Lord. Church has said, Praise the Lord. You must go to heaven. Yeah, yeah. Whether the devil likes it or not, you must go to heaven. Yeah, yeah. Your soul is not for sin. Look, yeah, yeah. say, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Your soul yeah, yeah. is not for sin. Tell your neighbor, you must go to heaven. Yeah, yeah. Whether the devil likes it or not, yeah. it's not only saying it, you must also walk in there. Yeah. If you say I will go to heaven, if you like, shout it one million times. If you are not walking out your salvation, you won't go. Heaven is not the thing that pastor will qualify you. Even the pastor himself needs qualification for heaven. Praise the Lord. And that is why he's very, very careful in everything we do. Because there is a man watching us. When I remember that God is watching me in everything I do, I become more careful. So heaven is the home for careful people. Say, I hear. I wish all these things would get them. Yes, Many are choosing. Many are choosing that which is good. Roman, I mean, sorry, Luke 10, 42. Luke chapter 10, verse 42. And one thing is needful. And many have chosen that. Men, I call it again. And one thing is needful. And many have chosen that good part, which shall not be taken away from her. You see that? Jesus visited Mary and Martha. And Martha was seriously putting good, good food, you know, planning good meal for Jesus and Antora. And Mary sat at the feet of Jesus and was listening to what Jesus was saying. Martha came and told Jesus, Master, don't you see that Mary have left everything for me? And Jesus said, Martha, you are too careful of little things. Mary! What is right, and many have chosen that way. Why? Because it's a choice. Following Jesus is a choice. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. God do not fight. God do not force people to walk with Him. God will only show you the way, and it is you that will follow the right path. Now, as a church, did anybody force you to be in church this morning? No. You decided to say not to. Yes, if you had said you won't come, you wouldn't have also come. Okay. So life is a choice. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, you have chosen the right path. And that right path shall set you free. Yes. Mm. God's word is not just it's not just the bread of life. God's word is the bread of life. God's word is not just the bread of life. It is also the bread of life. Praise the Lord. And when you are not beating, you are dying. Two of us. Hello. So make the word of God the bread of your life. When a man stops eating, he is on his way to the grave. As food is a sustainer of man's bread, same way God's word is the sustainer of your spiritual bread. When a man stops eating, the man will start dying. Praise the Lord. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. The same way physical food sustains us, the same way spiritual food should sustain us. Church, am I talking? Yes, sir. When you eat in the morning, 
You also need to eat in the afternoon. You also need to eat in the night. So when people are come to church, Sunday, 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 without any problem, I wonder how you can grow. Because what sustains you cannot only be the message of Sunday. You need all the messages to also sustain you. Are you getting my saying? Yes, sir. The same way you need quality food to grow. The same way you need quality word of God to grow. Not every food nourishes. The food that nourishes is balanced diet. Balanced what? Church, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Word of God like this is what nourishes. Not every food, not every word of God that nourishes you. So when people are going to the church, they say, hey, my God say, no. What actually are you learning? That is the most important thing. Right now, sir, are you also learning? If it's the word of God you know, and put it on practice that produces tremendous results. So I do. Listen to this. Very important. Listen to this. Your awareness is the function of the revelation at work. Your being alive is as a result of the revelation you got from heaven. Most of us have not even received any message from God. We are there are no revelation, the people perish. Are you a Yes, sir. The revelation you want to hear is the one that somebody tell you, hey, 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 on tomorrow, this, this, hey, hey, hey. See, the prophecy somebody should give you, there should be prophecy that correspond with what God has already told you. Maybe God has told you, and you need a confirmation. Praise the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. If I meet you now and tell you, you will be a millionaire. And you say, Amen. Because the word of God has already said, you will be the head and not the head. Yeah. And this is why you go to some places. They tell you, you will die before 24 hours, you start crying. <laughs> you tell the person that the word of God said, I shall not die, I will live. Yeah. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The word of God is our number one prophetic head. I wish you understand. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. Isaiah 5 verse 13. Therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude cry off with death. Why? Because of their knowledge. Not because there is no God. People perish. My people are perishing because they lack knowledge. They are not perishing because there is no God. They are perishing because there is no accurate knowledge from the Word of God. Second Peter chapter one verse three. Second Peter one three. He has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who has called us into glory and world virtue according to His divine nature has given us all things that pertain to life and world godliness according to the knowledge of him who has called us according to the knowledge so when you begin to get the knowledge of god you begin to see what he has in stock for you church am i talking yes, very important second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 says story to show yourself and you on top of a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the world of truth. Study, study. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Study, study the Bible. Don't just read it like literature. Read it until you hear message from heaven. Amen. Rightly dividing the world of truth. That is the only way it works. It is your way out of shame. The Bible, the word of God, is your way out of shame and disgrace. Say I hear. Stop it and giving yourself over to the word of God. Enable you not to be put to shame. Second Timothy chapter 5, verse 17. Second Timothy chapter 5, verse 17. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of the world. Especially they who labor in wars and doctrine, especially those who labor in war. So it is your laboring in the war that adds to your double honor. Praise the Lord. Your laboring in the war. Most 
of us come to labor. It is not playing in the world, but laboring in the world. That it is. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 11. Let us therefore work. Let us therefore. Let us labor, therefore, sorry. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Let any man fall apart. After the same example of unbelief, let us labor. So, entering the rest required your labor. Hello. What actual salvation will cheer our world? What is the world? Number three. Number three, sustainability of that beauty. Fasting and what? Praying. Praying the Lord. Praying the Lord. Some of us think that fasting is only when we are in need. No! We are not fasting because we are in need. Rather, we fast to stay out of the need or above need. So, can you get what I'm saying? A lot of Christians are not have problems. So, why will I fast? I am not, I know. Why will I fast? No! You are not fasting because you have problem. Jesus fasted. Did Jesus have problem? No. But Jesus was fasting to stay out of the knee and above knee. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is when you have the kindergarten knowledge of prayer. When you have the kindergarten knowledge of prayer and fasting, that is when fasting and prayer became and you will become a boy. But when you have the full knowledge of fasting and prayer, it becomes very interesting. Now listen and listen to me. Fasting and prayer become very impressive when your praying and fasting is centered on kingdom advancement. You are praying, oh God, help my pastor, give him more wisdom, give him more revelation. Oh Lord, help brother this. Oh Lord, deliver. You are praying not for yourself, but you are praying intercessory prayer. When you pray those kind of prayers. God opens windows of heaven for you. Say I pray. Jesus didn't have any material need, but was covered in prayer. He was praying to stay above me. He was praying. When you stop praying, you start dying. Hello. Most of us are spiritually dead. Why? Because we are not active in prayer. A prayerless Christian is a very weak Christian. How many of you will pray, can pray from 9 o'clock to the day? How many of you? Ah. Ah, you see now? Jesus prayed all day. Pray day and night, 40 days and 40 days. And power came. Power was released upon you. So your power being released, not being released unto you, is a function of your spiritual listening. Hello. When we are spiritually less, we don't receive from God. Praying is an adventure that brings you to want it or perhaps. While you are praying for others, God sends help to you. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Let all therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy. And find grace to help in terms of the need. Listen to me. If you come to the presence of God, you must come put, you must come well. Everybody listen to me. A man that walked into his father's power cannot say that he should not sit on us. Because you know that the seat belongs to you. See what you When you come to the presence of your father in heaven, you must come with all people. You must come as a son, as a son. Most of us, because we think we are not doing it well. He said, Oh God, you know, I'm a sinner. Every day I'm a sinner. Every day I'm a sinner. Why don't you stop sinning? You know, some of us we think we are being humble, right? Oh God, oh my, you know, I'm a sinner. I've shot him, I've fallen short of the blood. Just as the fishes in the river cannot deny us sin, even so I cannot deny. In fact, instead of you to say, I cannot. Some of you will add it, we cannot. Just say yourself, oh, don't say. If you are saying we, including your pastor, we cannot. Brothers and sisters, we still have Jesus Christ as our advocate. Praise the Lord. 
faithful condition. Go back to your father and make this. When you sin against your husband, what do you do? You go to your husband and tell her, I mean, me, Danny, Vonny, I'm sorry. If you sin against your wife, you say, Vonny, I am sorry. And you continue to move. You don't call yourself a sinner before your husband. I have already told him, I'm sorry. When you tell your husband, I'm sorry, what did your husband do? Your husband forgives you, right? Yes. Hello? Hi. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. So I met a man sometimes. And the man said, the reason for this my sin, my sin, he said, the reason for this my sickness is because God wants to humble me. Pray for me. I said, Madam, I will pray for you. If the Lord is humbling you, let God continue to humble you. Because if God is giving you sickness, if God is giving you arthritis or HIV, then I am not qualified to pray. Because God is bigger than I am. Praise it Lord. Amen. The truth of the matter is that God does not give us sickness. Hello? How many of you are giving your children HIV before? Because they sin against you. How many of you? You are giving your child headache. You are giving your child arthritis or pain to them. Or you are condemned the rule of your child because the child is obeying. How many of us can do that? If you cannot do that, God cannot do it. Praise the Lord. Church, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, Our God is a good God. He never gave his children sickness. Let it come to your brain. I remain there. Finally, the fourth one. Be patient with me. I want to give you the fourth. I will close here. The fourth environment is sustaining this. Beauty is so winning. Is what? So winning. If you are a soul winner, you remain the friend of God forever. Praise the Lord. I am saying if you are a soul winner and continue in soul winning, if you make soul winning your lifestyle, then you are a friend of God. Most of you don't know what God called David, my friend. God called David, my friend, because David is a soul winner. In those days, how did they so? They go to battle. Defeat the enemy and institute the kingdom of God into those nations of the world. Are you getting it? An act of soul winning. A soul winner is a friend of God. A soul winner is a wise man. John chapter 15, verse 16. John 15, verse 16. Yea, I have not chosen but I have chosen you and have ordained you that you should go and be faithful and that you should let your fruit remain. That whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, he may give you means to you. Listen to me. Maybe you have been praying, you have been fasting, you have been sowing seed, and the result is not coming. Why don't go into sowing? Because he said, when you will sow, whatsoever you ask, the Lord will give you. But the other, are you going to ask? The Lord wants you to be a soul. So that whatsoever you ask him, he will give you. Praise the Lord. Most of our prayers are not answered because they are not so many. God wants us to become so Every child of God is an ordained to be a surprise. Every child of God. Because the word of God said, Go here into the world and make disciples of all nations. Go here is a command. When you are not a soul winner, you are disobeying the instruction. And every disobedient child of God is not a friend. Hello? Yes. George, are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. We all come by becoming so winning. Yes. Telling people about Jesus Christ. As for the apostle chapter 1, they say, And he shall receive power, and ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witness of me. You know, as they receive the power, they became witnesses of Jesus Christ. So, the Holy Spirit empowers us into so me. The Holy Spirit empowers us. And we have received the Holy Spirit. The day we became friends of Jesus, the day we became born again, we pray the prayer that the Holy Spirit should come into our life. And from the day we begin to walk with Jesus, the Holy Spirit, so we begin to use it to win so for Jesus Christ. Church, am I talking? Yes, you can see how there are so many degenerations in the body of Christ because many believers are not into so many. Most of us, most of us think that so many is pastor's thing, and that is why we are losing us. When you are not 
a soldier, you are not wise. Soldiers are wise people. Because the Bible says that he that will let the soul be in his people. It didn't say he that stands in the pulpit that preaches one. Rather, those that preach are wise. So even if you are not a pastor, you are a wise person. You are bringing souls into the kingdom. Church, am I talking? John chapter 15, verse 8. Hearing my father is glorified, that he have bear much fruit. So shall you be my disciples indeed. So my father is glorified that you should bear much fruit. Not just bear much fruit, and allow the fruit to remain. Praise in your Lord. Touch your name, tap your name, say your name. Are you a son of A man that will show any. How many of you spoke to somebody about Jesus Christ in the next two weeks? I have ever told someone, I have witnessed for someone about Jesus Christ. Church, are you seeing? This is why this is why we are not functioning as we should. How can you live your life for a whole long week? You have not opened your mouth to say something about Jesus Christ. And you think you are doing the right thing. That is why heaven may not know you. Honestly. There are those that heaven don't talk with. They are so now listen to me. Bible said heaven rejoices when one soul is brought into the heaven. Just one soul. Heaven celebrates. And any man that makes heaven happy. Never be a woman. When you are the person that makes heaven happy, how you keep the power you so that you keep making heaven happy. The Bible says, Them that exalt me, I will do what exalt. And those that make mockery of them, I will also make mockery of them before my Father, which is the name of heaven. May we not be counted as those that make mockery of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Church, I maybe you didn't hear me. I said, may we not make mockery of God. And may we not be counted as those that make mockery of God in heaven in Jesus' name. Yeah. So truth bearing glorifies God. And when God is glorified, he glorifies you in meters. Daniel chapter 12 is good. And they that be wise shall shine as brightness of the power. And they that turn many to righteousness. As the stars forever and ever. So, soul winners are stars. Every soul winner is a giant star. You see that? So, when you are not a soul winner, you are not counted as a star. Heaven wants you to be a star because every star must shine. Say, I hear. Every star must shine. So, you are not shining. Because we are not witnessing. In most cases, you don't need to go around. Just look where you will see great habits. He said, Pastor, I don't know how to preach. You don't need to have special training for preaching. Share your testimony to your neighbors. In your marketplace, share your testimonies. Tell them who you were before and who you are now. Use the blessings of God around you and share your testimony. The Lord who did it for me will also do it for you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, How many of you have seen other people who have to say before? And I've seen other women where they put over the come and jump. No. But they are many souls of the places. How do they do it? One or more woman. You come to get them, they will give you. You come to get them, they will give you. The next one they will tell you, it is good to teach you how to fish rather than give you fish. Come by 12 o'clock in the evening, I will take you to somewhere. Before you know the fish. We are citizens of the kingdom. We are entitled to protect the kingdom of the world. How many of you have seen Jehovah's Witnesses putting their poster or whatever saying it's a crusade? When you are doing Jehovah's Witness crusade, they don't do it. But they are many really source every day. How do they do it? One or one. Everybody.
tell you that you'll come across. Share the God. Invite them to church. Invite them. Tell them come and hear. Most times they will tell the Lord how to transport. Pay their transport. Praise the Lord. Sometimes they go and say, Come. Give them offering. We are doing all these things to prepare. There are some persons that have been coming like that before you know it, the Lord has responded. John, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. When you do all these things, the Lord will bless you. All those customers that do come to you, preach the word of God to them. All those people that call you on phone, give me a recharge card, roger me, solve me, give me data. As you keep giving them, call them, tell them, I was begging like you until I met Jesus. Then he said, Jesus, they will ask you, where did you Let them come to a different church. This is what you are saying. As we do these things, the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. I am the I'm 